this expectation versus reality video will get interesting very quickly. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today is one exciting video for me. I am doing another expectation versus reality video. I haven't done expectation versus reality video in such a long time and I miss this series. Do you miss it? Let me know in the comment section below. I am working with one specific kid that you guys wanted to see. I did a poll on Instagram and a lot of you wanted to see a review on this specific kit. I will link and list everything in the description under the video. One more thing before I let you go, I'm not here to bash any sellers or any companies. I am grabbing one kit that they advertise on internet and I am giving my honest review because sometimes it's not fair for us consumers to look at the picture, see that beautiful setup, buy it, and then receive a totally and completely different thing. So that's my goal here to give you my honest review. Without any further ado, let's go. This is the kit that won the whole polling on Instagram and come on, focus. Yes, there it is. It looks very beautiful, very pastel, very beautiful colors. The setup is gorgeous. I'm gonna point out a few things that are just like, uh, a big huge massive no-no when you sell something on the internet before i'll point out all of the things that i found about this kit let me tell you what this kit includes in itself this kit includes 110 pieces two colored balloons ivory green orange mint cream and confetti balloons. I'm not considering confetti as a color. They're translucent with probably silver confettis in it. This kit will cost you $15.99 right now. Why am I saying right now? Because the price can change really fast. Going to our reviews, only, only one review and basically five star. So there is nothing to read. Let me zoom you closer and show you what is happening in these pictures. If you look at it, it looks pretty good, nothing extraordinary, but if you look closer, you guys, do you see what I see? Because I see a lot. If you zoom in, look at this. Do you see this balloon over here? A hundred percent photoshopped. Scrolling a little bit to down, photoshopped, photoshopped, photoshopped and a lot more is photoshopped on this picture let's switch to another picture which is like i can't if you look at the second picture that this listing includes looks pretty good right if you look closer photoshopped 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 everywhere. You're so wrong. I can't even handle this. Even this very simple setup, nothing over the top or crazy. Even this picture has a photoshopped balloon. One, two, three. Like, are you serious? If you see pictures like these with photoshopped balloons in it, I would suggest Please avoid these kids. Just go away from them. Forget about them because you will be disappointed when you will get that kit for yourself because you're not going to be getting what the picture advertises. Have an idea, you guys. How about after I will be done with expectation versus reality and after I'll show you the real look of that balloon garland, I will grab some of my own balloons and uh, I will try to salvage and try to bring that balloon garland kit as close as possible to the picture that they have advertised here. You guys, <laughs> I have so much faith, right? I'm like, let's do this, let's do that. Hey, let's build this balloon garland and then we'll see what we can do, right? So let's go. This is the package that I received from the seller. Let's open this up and see what we have inside. 
see you guys. This kit includes a whole bunch of balloons in several colors. Not two, but three colors. Not counting the translucent. We have a balloon strip to construct our balloon garland, curling ribbon to help us hang the garland, and one roll of glue dots. With details and description under this kit, it's a little bit confusing. If I look into the description, they say that we are working with 10, 12 inch balloons. But then when I go to features and details, we are working with 10, 12 and 18 inch balloons. So looking at this pile, we are working with 18 inch balloons. So I guess let's go inflate and see what we can do. To inflate my balloons, I am using my electric balloon pump from Laura Del Piper and Balloon Company. The name of this pump is Zoom. I love this pump. If you would decide to purchase a pump or anything else from Laura Del Piper and Balloon Company, you can always use my code Anastasia10 for 10% off at checkout. This is an affiliate code. It's totally up to you if you want to use it or not. And this code is valid only for your first purchase and if you're a new customer to Lord Del Paper and Balloon Company. I am literally sitting here and I'm about to re-watch my first ever expectation versus reality video. I will link that in the description under the video. It was definitely an accident. I blurted out expectation versus reality and since that day I started the series of expectation versus reality video. This kit does not include balloon tying tools so we will be using our fingers or I'll grab one of my own balloon tying tools if you don't have it it's not that expensive I will link it in the description under the video if you want to purchase it or not it's totally up to you so I'm taking one balloon inflating to quickly over inflate one of the balloons to show you what over inflated balloon looks like if you see a pear shape balloon like this it's over inflated let some air out until something like this it doesn't have that coney peri shape under the balloon right here at the very bottom so now you can tie a knot or if you want a more rounder balloon then press your balloon against the floor to give your balloon more rounder shape if you will be over inflating your balloons and you want to press it against the floor to get rounder shape it's not going to work tie a knot and voila i am inflating and tying my balloons individually because we are working with a balloon strip when you're working with balloon strip it's impossible to have pairs of balloons and then stuff them into balloon strip you need to have individual balloons so 18 inch balloon it stretches or blows a lot bigger than 18 inch balloon it's more like of a 24 inch balloon show you what I do with my confetti balloons and how I static all the confettis to the walls of my balloons. Grab a balloon, inflate, static my confettis. I used to use a piece of paper towel or a towel and would rub on the balloon until I create static inside of my balloon. I didn't like that because those two things leave white marks on my balloons and it didn't look good. Also you can use high float to stick your confettis to the walls of your balloons. I don't like high float because after a little bit or the next day your balloon will become foggy. I don't know why high float does that. I guess it dries and uh, it doesn't look good. So I found another solution. I am grabbing my own two hands and I am starting to rub on my balloon all over. This way I am creating static inside of my balloon stop for a bit to give it a shake and if necessary rub again and here you have one beautiful confetti balloon with confettis all over your balloon construct our balloon garland. I will be using this balloon strip that was included in this kit. As you can see this strip has bigger hole, little opening and smaller hole. I am starting to insert my first balloon through bigger hole making sure that my knot is completely through 
just like that, sliding my balloon through the opening into a smaller hole and letting go. That's basically all you have to do to construct this balloon garland using balloon strip. I will be inserting everything on one side. Personally, I don't really see a difference if you alternate sides or insert everything on one side. If you see your balloons are starting to pop out out of your strip, that means you need to skip a hole. Other than that, it's very easy to use this balloon strip. I am planning to use 12 and 10 inch of balloons. I will be leaving my five confetti and 18 inch balloons aside and I will be filling in spaces with them a little bit later. About skipping holes and working with balloon strip. If you want a more denser and packed balloon garland, then skip as less holes as possible. It can lead for balloons to pop out out of the strip, not a big deal. Just pack your balloons in every single hole and then skip a hole, give some breathing room to your balloons, and then again, pack the balloons, a few balloons, and then skip a hole, and so on and so on. If you like your balloon garlands to be on a looser side and not as packed with balloons, then skip more holes. This way you will give your balloons more room to spread and lay and basically sit in this balloon strip. When I work with balloon strip and making my balloon garlands with balloon strip, I like to pack my balloon strip as much as possible with balloons because I like my balloon garlands to be full of balloons, have this volume, and just be pretty and volumizing. So I will be skipping as less holes as possible. how this balloon garland looks on my backdrop you guys um, I'm kind of speechless here nothing close to what we saw on a picture I do have a few balloons laying on the floor but to achieve exactly the same look I don't think 110 pieces will be enough to create something beautiful as in the picture anyways I will be using glue dots that were included in this kit and I will be using more than one glued up per balloon because I want to be sure that my balloons will stay on my garland for a long time. I will scoot you closer and I will show you how I hung my balloon garland on my backdrop. So this is how I attached my balloon garland to my backdrop. I took a safety pin, pinned it to my fabric, grabbed that included curling ribbon and literally wrapped the curling ribbon around my balloon garland and tied it to my pinned safety pin. That's about it. I tried to give my balloon garland as much support as possible. So one spot, two, and three safety pins. I might add one more at the very bottom, but that's about it. Done with glue dots, so taking some of my own. What I have for you guys today, this is my reality balloon garland. This is the next day, you guys. Why next day? Because it was way too late yesterday and I needed some sleep. So I went to bed and this morning, the next day, I came down to find this balloon garland all intact, which is very surprising. Why am I saying surprising? Because these mint balloons, I don't know what's going on with them or what was happening while I was building this balloon garland, but these mint balloons, I think they were or they are heavier treated with powders than any other balloon in this kit and those glue dots just didn't want to stick to the mint balloon. So I thought, the next day I would find uh, lots of especially mint uh, balloons on the floor. Not on the floor, I'm telling you, I'm surprised. I am not a big fan of um, this color scheme. 
Why? Because I am not feeling this brownish, tannish looking color here. Maybe if I would have color blocked, it would be a different story, but mixing up all of these colors, not a big fan. If they would remove this color and add more blush color in different sizes, that would be a whole different story. And I would like that even better than having, I don't know, this. I'm just not feeling it. The quality of these balloons, they are pretty decent. I didn't lose any balloons. And you often ask me, how can I get rid of these darker spots on my balloons? Basically, every single balloon has these darker spots. And the answer is simple. That's just how the balloons were made and they are cheaper quality for sure. If you look at Betalytics, Qualitics, or Toptics, they barely have anything on top of them. If they have some kind of dot on top, it's barely noticeable. But these are kind of like very to your face. So it's just cheaper balloon. I didn't have enough glue dots to complete this whole thing. Be sure to use a lot of glue dots per balloon, more than one, two, three glue dots. For example, this balloon, I had to use four glue dots. One is ungluing right here, but I used one, two, three, four glue dots to attach this balloon on the spot. The reason is because when I measured this balloon against my garland, this balloon touched in four spots. So I wanted to be sure to secure this balloon in four spots for this balloon not to flop on one side. If I can find an example, that would be Great, seems like, oh, here we go. This five inch balloon, I only used one glue dot because I was running low. Anyways, do you see this? I didn't want for my balloons to have these gaps and uh, I don't like that. I like when balloons are really snugged and they are in there, see? for sure. If you're planning to use any flowers to beautify this balloon garland even more, which I was planning to, but then I decided not to because it wouldn't be fair, then please secure your balloon garland in few spots, more than three spots, because you need that support from your strings to hold the weight of flowers. If some of the spots on your balloon garlands are not secured, they will weigh down and it will change the course of your balloon garland, your shape. If you're planning to build your balloon garlands with glue dots and then insert flowers, be sure to really use a good amount of glue dots to really construct your garland because when you're going to be inserting your flowers, flowers, even though they're kind of light, but still they have some weight, they can weigh your glued balloons down and tear your balloons from those glue dots and they will fall. I went through that, I already tested that, not once. Be sure to really glue your balloons down. Other than that, this balloon garland looks pretty decent. Not the best, not my favorite, but it can work. Definitely nothing close to what we saw on Amazon Pictures. And uh, yeah, you guys, I leave it to you to decide if uh, uh, this looks anything as uh, expectation. My best advice for you when you're looking for kits, really look into pictures. If you see any of the balloons are edited in with an editor into those pictures, into those balloon garlands, I would suggest to just pass because you're going to get something absolutely and totally different like we got here. Go to the review section, read the reviews. If that particular kit does not have any reviews, um, it's up to you if you want to purchase or not. It's up to you if you want to risk it. I wouldn't. I would go and look for something different. Again, it looks decent. It might work, but um, could be better. Let me know what you think about this reality balloon garland. And uh, yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoy this video.